You just went to a friend's house and unfortunately for you, you had a slip and fall accident and now you have an injury. What I'm going to tell you is what you need to prove to be able to collect on that injury so that you don't have to be in pain without having some kind of compensation. Hi, I'm Aaron Field. I'm a Connecticut personal injury attorney with a statewide practice serving all of Connecticut. A couple of years ago, a friend of mine was showing a house. She's a realtor and she was showing it on behalf of the buyer. So the buyer was going, they were interested in this bank owned property. So it was the winter time and the bank hadn't done anything to shovel the snow, clear the ice, do anything. And this was in the winter that we had that was really bad around 2010. So she was carefully making her way up the front path and the buyer behind her was making her way up the front path when all of a sudden my friend slipped on some kind of foreign object that was hidden under the snow and she fell and broke her leg in five places. Now, what did we have to prove? There were three things that we had to show in order for her to get her medicals recovered and collect on some pain and suffering. Now, she really was in a lot of pain. Not only was I her lawyer, but I've been friends with her for about 12 years, and so I knew she wasn't making it up. I had to write it out in a journal. It was awful. She couldn't, she couldn't get out of bed. She couldn't go to work. She couldn't do anything. She had to get two major surgeries. She was out of commission for six months, and in that six months, she had a lot of anguish in her life between her and her husband, her and her children, all kinds of stuff. So here's what we had to show in order to get the insurance company to not only pay for her medicals, but give her some pain and suffering compensation as well. The first thing was that there was a dangerous condition on the property because there was this, whatever this foreign object was, it was like a decoration or something that had been left behind by the former owner and then snow and ice fell on top of it. And the bank didn't bother to go in and even do an inspection of the property or shovel the snow away. So that's what she stepped on when she was trying to walk up the pathway to get to the steps to show the buyer the property. The second thing we had to show was that the owner of the property knew or should have known of this dangerous condition on the property. Now, it was a bank owned property, but they were still the owner and they had responsibilities with that property to keep it safe and to keep it free of debris like they expect other people to do when they give mortgages and they didn't do that. So that was something that could have easily been discovered by them and they did not even come out and inspect the property. So the third thing that we had to show was that that was the object that had caused her injury. That part was easy because when she went to take a step on what she thought was the ground, she stepped on this thing that was not that didn't move and it forced her back and when she fell back she broke her leg and the good thing was that she also had a witness and in fact at one point during the negotiations the listing agent called our witness on our side and said you didn't see anything right I mean you're not going to testify against the bank or anything are you so it was just kind of funny that that happened anyway long story short I was able to get her something in the end that she was satisfied with and if you're facing the situation and you want to speak to me pick up the phone call me I help people fix problems all the time and I would love to talk to you I'm Aaron Field thank you